Cleveland Clinic did a study on transgender brains. And when they did the study, they found that the, the brain of transgender people, their brain is actually more similar to the gender they identify with than the gender that they were assigned at birth. I can't believe what this guy is saying. I cannot believe what he's saying. Let me tell you, when I saw this, someone had sent it to me and I saw this video. We know what's going on and taking place. Absolutely. There's no question about that. But I wanted to hear what Dr. Phil's response was going to be concerning this. This lady expressed that she went to him for an answer. Well, I am absolutely certain that she was surprised by the answer that she got. And I, I, I was blown away by the fact that Dr. Phil would want to justify a young man dressing up and proclaiming to be a woman, not by his genitalia, but by science, by what he thinks in his mind or how his mind functions. It's real simple, you all. God created male and he created female. That is a bunch of nonsense. I'm going to play this video. But I was absolutely dumbfounded. And as I saw in the comments by one viewer, they said that the, the little respect that they had for Dr. Phil, they lost it. And you know what? I feel the same way. I lost it for Dr. Phil, but I won't do any more talking. Let me just play the video for you and um, we'll come back with our commentary on it. Javian lives his life as a female. Javian goes by JB's online. I wrote his name down on the birth certificate. His name is Javian. I told him not to come around me dressed as a woman. I had a collection of Barbie dolls and my mom found them up under my bed and she threw them all away. Persona that he has just gives off sassy, ratchet, angry black woman. And I'm just not digging it. I've said some things to him that I regret, like you should have been aborted. I have said to him, don't catch AIDS and die. He tried to make it seem as if I said catch AIDS and die. That's not the case. I'm telling him, do not catch AIDS and die. If Javian decided to have a sex change and present himself as a woman, I will always, until the day I die, recognize Javian as my son. So I'm hoping old Doc got the answer because I don't have it, but I'm searching for it. What, what is your concern? Um, I'm very concerned that with his behavior and him identifying with the one as a woman, that it could lead to um, dismemberment. Your, your child was born uh, with male genitalia, and so you say that's the definition, and that's not gonna change. And so all of this other that is being experienced is just a mental illness or a delusion or a distortion or what is well, it? What do you I, think? I just recently got my bachelor's in psychology and I have been taught that it's gender dysphoria. Um, I do believe that it may be a form of mental illness. Um, it's not just that he was born male. I mean, he is a male. He was born with male parts. He is a male. And I'm just not going to feed into the delusion that a man is a woman. You know, Cleveland Clinic did a study uh, on transgender brains. And when they did the study, they found that the, the brain of transgender people, their brain is actually more similar to the gender they identify with than the gender that they were assigned at birth. And I think that that's a mental health issue. Um, I could well, no, no, say that's a that, neurological fact. Okay, and, and I could say that I identify as a rich white woman right here on your stage, and I'm not white. So identifying as something is totally different, right, from what's actually factual. There are 50 years of empirical evidence here, and there are distinct differences in the transgender brain versus the non-transgender right. brain. So are, what, are you asking him to ignore that, to ignore his brain and 
what well, filter the world that, runs through for him? Well, well regardless of, of, of the brain, the body is, is there are only two bodies. You've got a male body or you have a female body. You have male genitalia or you have female genitalia. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on in our brain, but and even part if of I'm, that body is the brain, right? Yeah. And, and JB's brain is telling all of the sensations, all of the experiences that the filters that this is a, a female experience. But he is not a female. But as a parent, there is no one on this earth that is going to be able to convince me that my son is a woman. It's just impossible. Kudos to her for standing her ground. First of all, I am appalled at Dr. Phil. He is absolutely and totally wrong. He is a father. For him being a father, and sometimes I I, I get on this, this, when I hear certain things and things that happens, with, especially with families, I'm always questioning. Where's the father? Especially when I see young men that is participating in, in this nonsense. I'm going to say it. When I see women want to change and alter their and this and, and their their sex, this is this is foolishness. Now, now I want to ask the question. Now, out of all the beings that God has created on this earth, whether or not it's the dog, the the fish in the sea, bull, whatever animal, whatever uh, bird, whatever, whatever creature you can call by name. We are the most intelligent being on this earth, but we chose, can choose what sex we want to say that we are. And then we can go and mutilate our bodies to confirm or to, to identify with what our brain tell us according to what Dr. Phil was saying. Listen, if you if you want the truth from me, what we're talking about, we're talking about a spirit and an 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 a natural spirit that is what's happening with people who wants to say that they're a woman when they're a man, and who wants to say that they are a man when they're a woman. Now, of course, the scripture says that men will be lovers of themselves. And we see it happening today. And all of it, I don't care how you look at it or how you want to spin it. And sh again, shame on Dr. Phil. It's, it is an abomination. Look at the immorality in which that it is causing the dysfunctioning of our young people, especially that is causing with the mental breakdown, the mental effect, because it is unnatural. This is not natural. And you can have all the scientific studies that you want to have, but you cannot undo what God has created. He knew what he was created. He, and he didn't make a mistake making you a man, but you want to say you're a woman. He didn't make a mistake making you a woman or creating you as a woman, but you feel like you're a man because that's what your brain tell you to. Well, if you want the truth, that's where everything starts in your mind, but it doesn't change anything about you physically. You have to take an initial act with that. But I commend, I commend Angela, Miss Statton for taking a stand. Now, this is how I feel about her. She is absolutely right. Her son can say he is a woman all he wants, but it ain't going to change what God created him to be. It's not going to change what she birthed. Now, what I would question her, or what I would have to say about Miss Statton, is that I believe that her approach is wrong. I believe that her approach is not the right approach for this situation. Scripture says that with love and kindness have I drawn thee. Let me tell you, and I can say this because, listen, we have family members who engage in that activity. And we know it. And yet still, though, we have expressed to them our position on it. They know that we don't approve of it. But yet, once we have set those guidelines, 
they don't bring it to my house, my wife and I's house. And guess what? When I go to their home, if I go there, I'm going to respect their home. I'm going to respect them. And I think this is the thing that when you listen to the entire interview, this is where you draw the line, the respect part. Now, I understand that, I, and I've heard uh, Mr. Javian disrespect, out, outright disrespect his mother on national television. Let me tell you, when I was watching that video and I heard him refer to his, 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 his mother as an ignorant bigot on national TV, let me tell you, I like jumped up at my seat. I said, there is no way, there is no way that I he would ever disrespect his mother in my presence, present, whether or not he's my son or not. No, 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 bro, we ain't doing that. Man, I would have took him to the five-finger ministry in a hurry. And I'm being real about it. You're not, no child, I don't care what your position is. I don't care even if your mother or your father is not functioning in the capacity in which that they are. You still have an obligation to them to respect them. You still have an obligation, a command, if shall I say, to honor them even in their dysfunctionality. It does not give you the justification to disrespect them. No, you cannot do that. Now, again, I don't agree with Ms. Stanton's approach. I believe once she had stated her position, she should have left it there and left it alone. As long as he didn't bring it in my house, as long as he didn't he didn't uh, do anything outside of her request, she should have left it alone. And then guess what? I still fellowship with those family members. You break bread together, but they know where to draw the line. They know I don't have to agree with you. But regardless of what, I'm going to respect you. How do I respect you? Number one, I don't have to keep berating you over it, even if I disagree with it. It's the same way with my own children. I'd say what I have to say to my children, and I'm done with it. I won't continue, oh, you're stupid, you're ignorant. Those type of words, once you release that, you can't get that back. No, you can't. You cannot get those words back. And that's why I feel Listening to even her IG, her on her IG page, I feel that some of the things that was said by Mr. Javian, her son, is true. Listening to what she said on how she conducted herself on I, on the IG, ah, oh, no, 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 no. I had a real big issue with that, and that's the truth. Now, let me tell you where I'm at with this. Listening to the entire interview, I, again, I asked the question. I'm always asking the question, well, where's the father? And I find I come to find out, okay, his father got arrested in prison, went away uh, 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 to prison when he was 10 years old. Then when he got out, within a year, he was dead. And I always question, if the father was involved, which he stated, father was not involved, but he never agreed with the lifestyle of his son. He didn't agree with it. If my son was to, I wouldn't agree with him. But let me tell you something though. That's why it's important to be in your son's life from birth until your death. You have to be involved. You have to be engaged. Even when they are an adult. No, you don't control them. You don't attempt to control them. But yet still, you be engaged. You make sure that you are available. You make sure that your child have access to you, no matter how busy you are. Your child needs you, especially our sons, especially our young men. Even if they, those young men that you may see in your community, if you are, I'm talking about a, a, a tall, standing, rich wearing man, richest wearing man, and you don't mind wearing the pants, and you got you got some maturity about yourself, and you carry yourself in in a more in a in, in a way that they can respect you. Oh, you can bring change in their life. Let me tell you what happened. 
my 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 children had a friend that they have known since elementary and i had noticed that this 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 gentleman that he was uh started displaying some feminine characteristics about himself now yes he has a father true enough but he was spending more time with my family with my children and he was spending more time around me so when i saw those feminine characteristics from him let me tell you i immediately with respect and with love shall i add i began to bring correction to him. nope brothers don't sit with their legs crossed like that nope brothers don't sit like that period nope brothers don't have a broken wrist nope Man has a certain walk. Man has a certain talk. And I didn't berate him, but what I did, and again, I drawed him with loving kindness. I never approached him or called him out of his name. I called him by his actual name, but I respected him. So, and, and, and today, some 15, 16 years, whatever later. Hey, he got his game together. Why? It ain't a matter what he might have been born with in his mind to think that he was. No, I kept speaking affirmation to his manhood because he was a man and not a woman. But I addressed that when he was of a young age. And I continue to stay involved in their life. This is why fathers are important. There is no way. If, if I have a son that come to me like that, let me tell you something. That brother was cool and straight up undercover. To be displaying that now, because it don't happen overnight. No, it does not. And we're wrong to think that. That's why I got an issue with Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade is, I'm telling you, he is an embarrassment of a father. And he makes all of us true fathers look real bad, but he won't make me look bad. Why? Because I'm going to speak to it and I'm going to call it for what it is. There's no way in the world some child, gonna, my child is going to come home and I've been raising him for 10, 12 years to be a man and he's going to tell me he's a woman and I'm going to go along with that. Wait a minute, someone, somebody been drinking and it showed enough wasn't me. But I'm surprised at Dr. Phil. And I, and I, if you listen to how he tried to dance around and, and then talk, well, it's 50 years of science to justify that uh, uh, when a, a, a man is wants to take or conduct himself as a woman, it's because of what his mind, his brain has been telling him no, it's what he has been exposed to, especially if he raised up all of, if, if, if you take a, 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 a son, you take a child, a male child, and he's raised up around nothing but women, what trace you think he's going to take on himself? Man, he is going to take on those same traits that a woman, because that's what he is exposed to. Listen, we are creatures of learned behavior. Okay, how you look at it. But I commend Miss Staten, you know, for her for her stance with her son. Yeah, keep calling him a man because that's who he is. Now, do I agree with her approach? Nope, I don't. I think she needs to curtail it. I think she needs, you know, because she she's a she's seen. I've seen some other videos on. She's a pretty colorful person. Yeah, yeah, I would say. But I commend the mother. But I regret the fact, and then you know, I'm gonna say this real quick. Then we get off of here. Because when I was watching it, I was like, this young man is acting out. Now, some of you may disagree, but I say he's acting out at the loss of his father. That's all that is. So that's his way of justifying his actions or whatever. But that's if, if you ask me, and I don't think I'm wrong, that is a reaction of him, his father not being in his life. And this is another story, another example to show how important having a father in a man's, a young man's life, in a son's life is. 
Let me know what you think in the comments, okay? Like what I said about subscribe to this channel, like, share, and um, we'll see you in the next video, okay? Peace. Thank you.